What's up, friends, foes, lovies? Real quick, I just wanted to come on here just to, to give you a word of encouragement. Um, I know that this is going to reach somebody. You know I don't come on here much anymore. I have my reasons. I'm healing, and the process takes a while, depending on whatever the fuck you're healing from. But anyways, one of you out there is regretting the things that you didn't do to keep a relationship you are saying to yourself, if only I rode them a little longer, if only I gave them what they wanted, if only I purchased things for them, if only I told them that I loved them more, they'd still be around. You're just thinking about all the things you could have, should have done to keep somebody in your life. No, 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 no. Please, please, stop doing Stop doing it. Now, I caught myself doing that yesterday, and I wanted to come on and share with you why you shouldn't do that, but today is the day I decided to make this video. I was with somebody that I feel was complaining to other people that I wasn't sexual enough, I wasn't doing this enough, I wasn't doing that enough, right? But before getting into this situationship with this person i did say i've been hurt by many many people which caused my sexual drive to not be so sexual okay tmi i don't give a fuck i protect myself by putting a barrier in the way like it's not easy to get to me. It's not easy to talk on the phone with me. It's not easy to text me. It's just not easy. So when I do let somebody in, I need them to work with me, gradually work with me. And eventually you're going to get everything that you want, but you just have to work with me at my pace. Now, this person clearly couldn't work with me at my pace and decided to go fuck other people behind my back without my knowledge obviously and um that shit hurt i mean now that i know but um i caught myself yesterday thinking what if i gave it up more what if i did this more what if i massaged their back rub their feet, kissed them more, told them I loved them more, bought them more things, even though my ass didn't got them, have the money like that. What if I did more? They still would have been my life. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. And thank God, thank the universe, thank whoever it is that you pray to for ending whatever it is that you had between you and that other person because that that's saving you that's saving your energy that's saving your money that's saving your heart from being hurt even more so than it will be in the future versus now yeah you're hurting right now you're hurting right now but eventually it is going to cease that pain is going to end i can't tell you how long it's going to take it depends on how much you care for the person. I'll give you an example. I was with somebody. This motherfucker fucked me bad. Really bad. And it took me years to get over. Years. When I tell you years. Mm. That was a long ass motherfucker time. But as time goes by. And you become stronger. That healing process it's a bit shorter okay especially once you have the knowledge of what uh toxicity is in a relationship um trauma bonding because a lot of us have that type of relationship where it's toxic and i'm not even gonna lie to you sometimes i enjoy the makeup part of uh, when you're in a relationship with somebody and you guys argue and that makeup session is just so amazing. It's just like you look for that. You look for that. It's just like, oh, 
but that's not that's not normal it really isn't um so i need you all to stop doing that as well stop trying to fucking argue just so you can have a good session if you know what i mean i ain't even gonna get graphic but um stop y'all there's so many other things that i wanted to say but um i can't even think right now um but i will say this while you're in the process of healing it's gonna be painful you're gonna need to find things that's going to help you through the healing um and this might sound a little harsh, but you need to start imagining your former lover or whatever they are to you with somebody else. Because <laughs> you got to get it over with in your head that this shit is not going to work. They're fucking somebody else. The same shit that they were doing to you, they're doing to somebody else. Get over it. get over it they bought you that dress they bought you that suit they bought you that jewelry they bought you that cologne and every time you see it smell it touch it you're thinking about them if you can't get rid of it just yet I need you to look at it that item whatever it is and you need to come to peace with it, it sounds weird I know Let's say somebody bought me this shirt and I'm wearing it today. I didn't have nothing else to wear. I'm just saying. I had nothing else to wear. And somebody that I love that fucked me over bought it for me. But I needed it because I needed to be warm. When I put it on, I'm going to say, this has no connection to my former lover. My former whatever. This has absolutely no connection I remove the spirit. I remove the thought and the feelings and everything out of this item. Do that. Don't get rid of it if you don't, you can't afford to. Shit. I got mad shit that's from um, my last... That I'm just like saying to myself, shit. That's a lot of stuff to get rid of, but... I ain't gonna get rid of it. I'm just not... I'm going to cope with it. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to look at it. And I'm going to heal with that motherfucker. That television that I'm watching. I'm going to heal. <laughs> from watching that television. The bed that I sleep in. I'm going to heal. That mattress. I forgive you. <laughs> All that shit. Like I need to like let go completely. And it's not easy. It really isn't. Because like I, I, like, yeah, like I said yesterday. I was like, yo, if only I fucked a little bit more. If only I did this more. But I will say this. Regardless of the fact if you did everything that they wanted you to do, you still won't have them. You still ain't going to have them. Because I changed a lot about myself. I adjusted so many things. Like, let's say if I didn't do something enough, I would spontaneously do it. And shock the person. No matter what, if I did that or not, it didn't keep them from seeking somebody else. So, y'all be careful who you allow into your life. Be careful ignoring the red flags when you see them. They be in your face just in your face and you just keep ignoring them stop doing it but again nothing that you could have should have done wasn't going to prevent your relationship from ending it wasn't going to save the relationship okay so stop fretting stop kicking yourself Stop. Treat yourself. 
I'm going broke treating myself right now. Actually, I need to stop. But again, I ain't treating myself with nothing out of the ordinary. It's just like, you know, buying a little bit of clothes that might make me feel cute. Getting my hair done, which I barely do, as you can tell. But doing little things to make me feel good, I'm going to continue to do. Saving my money. Because when I'm with somebody, even when I'm broke, I will fucking give them my last. And nobody that has ever been with me can fucking say that ain't true. But now, I'm going to take this time to save. I'm going to take this time to grow. I'm going to take this time to recharge. Because I'm drained. I'm drained. And um, it is necessary for us all to recharge for ourselves, not for anybody else. The motherfuckers be draining you. You recharge just to fucking get drained again. Why? It's okay to be by yourself sometimes. And ho, listen, don't do like me because... Last couple of months, I've been saying to myself, fuck love. I don't ever want to be in love. Fuck everybody. Ain't nobody going to be um, good enough for me, blah, 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 whatever. I was thinking all this shit. It's a lie. From the pits of hell. Okay? If you've ever dealt with a narcissist, that is their agenda. It's to make you believe that there is no such thing as real love. There is no such thing as trust. There is no such thing as loyalty. There is. You're just looking in the wrong direction. Do the opposite of what you've been doing. Do the opposite. When you meet them, don't tell them too much about your life. Don't tell them about your past relationships. Don't tell them about the things that you love. Because guess what? These predators out here feed off of that. These predators out here take that shit they take notes and that's how they get you be yourself without having to say too much and when you see the red flags run <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say video is all over the place as always but at least you get in one that's for those who even care if i make a video um i see a lot of shit going on in social media this dude done killed his baby mother and his ex-wife on the live. And I was sick to my stomach when I seen that shit. This motherfucker killed his baby mother who was with child and went to his ex-wife's house 